Oh, hello there, Alma. I was wondering about lunch. When's lunch? Soon. Um, okay, great. I was wondering maybe we could have sandwiches for lunch. No. Oh, really? No? Why not? Uh, sandwiches are good, aren't they? No. Oh, really? People love sandwiches. I love sandwiches. Did you, did you already cook something and that's why you don't want sandwiches? No. Then, then what, what, why, why we can't have sandwiches? I think we should be able to have sandwiches. Let's have sandwiches. No. Oh, look, Amma, why are you being so adamant about it? I think we can just try sandwiches, right? Booshing. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today is Matic Monday and we're going to do a protocol on Matic. Now, one of my viewers has suggested this one to me, so I'm going to take a look at it and tell you just a quick overview of what this protocol is and what makes it a little bit different than other protocols that are similar to it. Um, you know, I've been busy, so I missed Phantom Friday, but you know, I'll try to keep on top of these, but again, life, you know, the priorities and so forth. So. Let's get into this and see what it is. It's pretty straightforward on the cover, like you have a, a bunch of volts here, and they're all LP volts for the most part. Um, basically, you, you go to one of these protocols, like for example, this one, it's ApeSwap. You would go to ApeSwap, you'd provide USDC and die, get an LP, bring it here, and you could stake it, and it would auto compound your rewards and get you more of these LP tokens. Now. The thing that sets this aside from some other vaults is that they do have their governance token on top of it or their native token on top of the APY. So when you look at here, you can see the APY plus the APY of the added rewards, and you can consider whether or not you want to take part in one of these or all of these vaults. Now, the other thing here is this staking of your Addy, and I'm gonna get into this in the docs, I'm not gonna read it here, but this is where you would come to stake your Addy when I finally get to talk about that. And the third thing here, they have this kind of like uh, cooperation with other protocols. Uh, if you have Addy tokens, you can basically put them in here and then they slowly get converted into these other tokens here. So it's kind of a way to, for them to like burn tokens and give you these tokens in, in return or something like that. So that's the three things. Now this furnace doesn't have a good coverage in the docs. So I, like I said, I didn't really look deeply into this, but I guess you could read the, the Medium article and so forth. But let's swing over to the docs and I will go through a few things here. Okay, so the first thing is that they used, apparently used pa Pancake Bunny and Ellipsis as uh, inspiration for this protocol. And, uh, but they did here, they do talk about the addressing of the, you know, Pancake, or sorry, Bunny, was, Bunny and Harvest were hacked basically in the same similar way. And they, they do address that here. So I would suggest you to come here and read this and try to understand it. I'm not gonna explain how they fixed it, but they have addressed that. It is certified or sorry, audited by Certec. And I guess that can help you to have some level of uh, comfort if you wanted to use this. Now, one of the things that does make this protocol special is that uh, the emission schedule is decreating. So at first they wanted to give more incentivization for people to come. And then as the months go by, they are giving out less and less Addy. So it's kind of like, it's not, not deflationary, but the inflation is being reduced month to month and so forth. And the way they actually get these tokens is quite interesting. So let's go into here the utility. Rather, I'm sorry, let's go into token supply here. And uh, what we see here is this 400 Addy are minted for one ETH of earning fees. So they basically, they only mint Addy based on earnings. And this is the, the idea here is that like when earnings decrease, like when protocol fees, performance fees decrease because of like bear market, there's nothing to farm or whatever, then the Addy emissions are reduced as well. So it, the Addy inflation is reflective of the, the overall market in a sense. And I think that's clever. It's definitely intelligent and thought through. Um, let's go down to the next part here. Let's go to Vault. Now, this is important here. There is a 30% performance fee taken from Vaults. That's a little bit high when you compare it to other Vaults, other Vault programs, but uh, they do try to make it up to users by 
who buy this Addy token. So they're going to take 30%, but they're going to give you Addy tokens, and then you can use the Addy tokens inside the protocol to 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 increase your APY in some ways. Okay, so over here. Okay, so here we are on staking LPs to earn Addy. So it's pretty simple, you know, stake your LP, right? And you earn Addy. Now this is a key point here. It says vested Addy can be withdrawn early, but it is subject to a 50% early exit penalty. And how long? They're 90 days. So whenever you get some Addy into your, your, your reward vault, then it's locked or not locked, it's vesting for 90 days. And if you want to take it out early, then you just basically give up half of it which is basically based on the ellipsis model as well, okay? So over to locking Addy. So uh, if you do lock up your Addy, let's say you have some Addy and you lock it into some sort, into the locking mechanism, you get some benefits for doing so. So the first benefit is you, you get some boosts, right? But like you have to decide how long you want to lock it. So there's a, a chart here, which basically says, you know, the best way to do it is uh, you get four years and you will get the full benefit and then if you lock for one year You'll get 25% of the benefit basically now. What are these benefits? They are here So 100% of the penalty fees for those who withdraw their vested tokens So like like I said just five minutes ago here is that like if you want to take out your addy tokens early They're gonna tax you 50% and give that full 50% to these people who are locking their addy now we also have uh, these uh, addy buybacks so early withdrawal fees. So if you withdraw from the vault too early, then you will be you will get a fee. And I think it's 72 hours. Let me check. Yes. So here it is here. There is the withdrawal fee of 0.5% if you withdraw it within 72 hours. So that those that those withdrawal early withdrawal fees are used to buy Addy and given to the Addy stakers. And then the last one is like the boosts. Now the boost is a pretty complicated uh, system, but uh, for the most part, what makes this one interesting and a little bit different is that they use the APY of the vault to decide how much boost they should get. So the first thing you do is you're, you're gonna get the boost based on locking these, uh, these Addy tokens. However, they're gonna reduce your boost if your vault is already producing quite high. So why, like if you're getting 200%, do you really need to get Addy tokens on top of that? That's kind of the, uh, the, the idea behind this. So they're gonna reduce your, your, your boost uh, benefit by 30% if your vault is performing this well. So this is kind of like just like a general overview. Um, I'm, I'm not participating in this protocol. I don't have any tokens staked inside. I just decided to look at it and try to learn about it and see what kind of cool features are inside it. Um, I really suggest you to come and read this in full. You know, the uh, examples here are pretty good. Uh, they go into like locking Addy examples and they they give you a good rundown of like different scenarios and so forth. And that kind of gives you a clear understanding of what, what you can expect from, you know, this kind of locking Addy to earn more Addy and so forth. So come and check it out. Uh, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.